Right then, so we had example one, which was straightforward. Example two, which didn't have R, it had A, so we rearranged. Now this one's a little bit tougher to do. So it says, a spherical balloon is inflated by gas pumped at a constant rate of 200 centimetres cubed per second. Look at the units. It's got to be volume over time, because it's centimetres cubed over time, over seconds. And it's going up. So that's the volume. Now it wants to know the rate of increase in the surface area. So it wants to find dA by dt. Well, it's got a radius of 100. Okay. So I want dA by dt, which must be dA by something times something by dt. I've got dV by dt, so that must be a V there. I know, I'll put it here. So I've got a dV, so that must be a dV there. Now here's my issue. That is an equation that links the surface area and the volume. So I've got a problem here. Because I need to link surface area with volume. Surface area and the volume have each got their own equations, both linked to R. So both have their own, uh, so both have own equations linked to R. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and do a sneaky second chain rule. So I'm going to do a sneaky second chain rule. This is like, I've never seen an exam question like this. It's really nice, the question. I've never seen one like this. It's really complex. So DA by DV is DA over DR times DR over DV. So I need something with area and radius and something with volume and radius. So I know that A was uh, what was A? A was 4 pi r squared. So dA by dr is A pi r. Volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So dV by dr is 4 pi r squared. So like for this bit here, so this is still working on dA by dV. So the dA by dV is dA by dr, which is the 8 pi r. Uh, oh, I don't want that design to come from. Hang on. So it's quite messy, this one. Multiplied by dr by dv. Now, I know that dv by dr is 4 pi r squared, so that's going to be 1 over 4 pi r squared. So the pi's cancel. The 8, the eight and the 4 cancels for dA dv. So it's going to be 2. Pi's are gone. 2 over r. The... I do believe. Is it 2 over r? I think so. Double check. 8 pi. Yep. So now, going back to my dA by dt, it's going to be 2 over r times by uh, 200 when r is 100. So dA by dt is 2 over 100 times by 200. Uh, that's going to be 400 over 100. It's going to give me 4. And I don't like that question because you've got to do a second bit. All this bit here is a second bit of, um, of the chain rule. There. So area over time, so centimetres squared per second. There. There we go. There's a question for you which I'll just show you. And it might be that I run through these in class again because they're not the easiest to do. But it's good to see them. The whole point of that 
the whole point of seeing the videos is to give you a bit of a heads up before we go through it again, isn't it? So in many ways, the hard ones are better to be done by video. There. And I think we're on consolidation now. Right, so well done, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.